have a towel Pilates mat workout. So I have just like my hand towel size workout towel. A hand towel would work just fine. I did um, take a couple of hair bands and bunch it at the end so it won't unroll. Um, they make a Pilates towel that is a braided one. I don't have one, but this works um, in replacement. A flex band would work, but you're gonna get more resistance because this doesn't move. All right, so we're gonna do a little towel workout. I'm gonna stand back here so you can hopefully still see me on camera to start with. I'm gonna start with the towel just out in front of me, holding the ends of it. And then I want my shoulders back and down. And I'm just gonna retract my shoulder blades like I'm trying to pull the towel apart. I'm gonna re release it a little bit and I'm gonna pull it out. I want you to find that, it's called scaption but where their shoulder blades come down and connect and feel flat on your back. You should feel the rib cage connecting, shoulder blades connecting, and those upper trap neck muscles shouldn't be the ones going. All right, and we're gonna lift it overhead and then bring it back down. So it's giving me a little shoulder mobility. Again, pulling out on that um, towel and try not to let those shoulders hike up. And then when we bring it down this time, I'm gonna let go of the towel. I'm gonna put it behind my back. So now with that kind of cracking walnuts, we're gonna pull the band away down low. Release it a little bit and then pull it back and retract. So the shoulders are down and connecting, okay? And then one more here for our warm up. We're gonna take that towel back overhead pulling it apart. I'm going to step wide with a little bit of a turnout, keeping my hips pretty still. I'm going to do a nice side bend, reaching that top rib up and coming up and then side bending. My goal is to stay connected with my head even between my arms. One more. And then bring it down. That's already some work. Now we're going to take this into a Pilates mat workout using the towel. So, as for most Pilates workouts, we're going to start with the Pilates hundreds. So I'm going to do the hundreds, but I'm going to use the towel. I'm going to start by putting it under my legs, and then as I roll it back to the mat, I'm going to start with my legs in table hop. Okay, hands are going to hold onto that towel again. Find where you need to grip it to get connected for your shoulder width and pull your towel apart. So there's some energy there right now. And then on my exhale, I'm gonna curl my head and chest up. Stay in a tabletop for the first 50. I'm gonna pump the towel up and down. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna straighten my legs to the sky. Keep pumping that towel up and down. Breathing in and out, in and out, in and out. My last breath in and out. Bring it down. I'm gonna now take that towel overhead. I'm gonna straighten my legs out long. Oops, I need to get back my mat. <laughs> Reaching my hands overhead. Again, some energy in the towel. And nice and long, flexing my toes up so my feet are flexed. I'm gonna take a big inhale and I'm gonna roll up here. So if I can, I wanna pull those arms overhead, connecting, and then exhale. Reaching over my toes. And then keep pulling that pull up, towel apart. I'm gonna roll it back down. Arms go overhead. Inhale, exhale. Rolling back, pulling it back. Overhead, one more time. And then I'm gonna roll back and stay. Initiating with abs, curling tailbone under, rolling back one bone at a time. And release. One leg circle is next. So I'm gonna bring my right leg to table hop and then extend it up to the sky. I'm gonna reach that um, towel, arms overhead, pulling it apart again, just to find that connection. I wanna keep 
this hip long so I don't hike the waist. And then I'm gonna circle that leg around and up. Inhale, exhale. And then the other way. Last time. And then I'm gonna bring it down, take that leg away. Other one comes up. Again, I'm gonna pull that towel overhead. I am active in that towel. I'm pulling it apart. So the scapular stabilizers are working. And I'm gonna circle down, around, and up. Down, around, and up. Down, around, and up. Down, around, and up. Reverse, the other way. Again, trying to stay long through both sides of the waist. Breathing in, and stabilizing as much as I can as I mobilize that hip for the last time. And then I'm gonna bring it down. From here, I'm gonna rock myself up to seated. And we're gonna go into our um, um, spine stretch series. So I'm gonna hold that band, or sorry, I keep calling it a band. <laughs> I've done it with flex band as well. We're gonna hold the towel, pulling it apart. Feet are flexed, and we're gonna keep pelvis vertical, nod chin and chest, and reach over the toes, and then restack my spine, pulling out. Always okay to release the towel for a second so you don't overdo. And then we're gonna flex forward, reaching forward, pelvis vertical, abs pull in, restack the spine. One more time. So I'm gonna reach forward, flexing forward, and then rebuilding my spine. One more time. I'm gonna flex forward, rounding over, and then restack back up. I'm gonna do a little pull here. I'm gonna pull into like a low row and reach out. So we can get some movement and energy in our back muscles, our biceps, all of those scapular stabilizers. So you can get some energy like you're pulling that towel with some resistance here. Now I'm gonna take it into a bow and arrow. So I'm gonna pull my right elbow back and reach my left hand forward and then bring it back to center. I'm gonna pull back with the left, reach the right forward and bring it back. So I wanna feel that rotation as I pull back. So this mimics a move we do on the reformer with facing our straps. I'm gonna go one more time here and bring it in. I can also take it to an underhand palms up grip and do a nice low row. And again, scapular pulling back, crown of the head long, sitting up tall and giving it that pull back and forward, pull back and forward. I'm gonna hold this overhead and I'm gonna go into a little saw. So with saw, I'm gonna rotate to one side and then I'm gonna fold forward, reaching my hand towards, but not as all the way down to my pinky toe. Back to center, rotate, and then forward fold, aiming towards that opposite foot. Back to center, first side, reach up tall. Second side, reach up tall. And I'm gonna do one more to each side, rotate, flex forward, restack. So as I'm restacking, in case you didn't feel it, that top arm is pulling me back up, and then I'm gonna bring it down. All right, from here, I'm gonna go into the ab series of five. We're still gonna use our handy dandy towel. <laughs> you don't have to, but I'm gonna use it here. So holding the towel with my arms, I'm gonna roll myself down to get back to the mat and get there however you need to. And then one leg and the other to tabletop. So what I'm gonna use the towel for this time is a little resistance with my legs. So my arms are gonna stay straight and I'm gonna pull my knees into the band. Again, you can always stay down with head and shoulders. I am gonna curl up for the effect of this one, although I do like to do this series sometimes down. So I'm gonna exhale, come up. One leg reaches long and I'm pulling my knee. So I really kick in that oblique into the towel. And then I switch. You might see that my towel is moving as I pull it in. So I'm resisting that kicks in the oblique a little bit deeper on the side I'm pulling into. Here's my last one, and then I'm gonna rest it down. Double leg stretches next. 
I'm gonna start with my towel over my shins in that tabletop position. Again, I'm gonna exhale, curl up. Now, inhale, arms and legs go away, I'm pulling on that towel and I pull it down. Pulling out on the towel and scoop it in. So inhale, reach, exhale, pull. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull. Last time, inhale, reach, exhale, pull. And rest it down. All right, a series of five, <laughs> that was two. So our scissors or single straight leg stretch is next. I'm gonna do that same kind of thing with the towel. I'm gonna to reach it overhead. I'm gonna bring my legs up in the air. Exhale, curl up. Again, option to keep head and shoulders down. And I'm gonna pull my right leg into the towel. And then I'm gonna switch as I reach. And I'm gonna pulse. Holding my towel still, pulling those shoulder blades down. Don't lose that connection and go into your neck. Recheck. Sometimes I need it too, right? One more time each leg. And, and then bring it down. All right, double leg stretch. Again, you can omit the towel and give it a little time out and put your hands behind your head. I'm gonna try to keep going with it. I am sweating now, hope you're a little bit um, <laughs> getting there as well. So I'm gonna curl head and chest up. Now, this is just gonna be my guide. I'm gonna take my legs away. I'm turned out wrapped and I'm gonna pull them back up. So I'm lowering and this means I'm coming right back to where I started. I can have the towel down here if that's all I got today. Or I'm gonna pull up, scoop the belly to catch, and scoop it up. One more. Lower and lift and bring it down. <laughs> Rest. Okay, crisscross. Again, towel. <laughs> okay. So hands overhead to start with, tabletop those legs. And then exhale, curl yourself up. We're gonna bend one knee and rotate the towel on the diagonal. It comes through center and then we rotate the other way. So as usual, twist and wring out your waist and rotate, center, rotate, center, pulling that towel apart. It should feel like the towel's gotten a couple inches longer. Twist, one more each side, twist, twist, and rest it down. And there's our app series. All right, from here, we're gonna take this to swan. You can, again, keep using the towel. You can get rid of it at any time. I'm just trying to add some resistance with a prop or that everybody should have at home, um, at least assuming you have a towel in the house. <laughs> Rubber bands or ponytail holders or tie a knot. If your towel's longer, that works too, you just choke up. All right, so with our swan today, I want the towel out, and then I'm just gonna keep my, <laughs> my hat brim as my guide off the mat. I'm gonna reach my hands out. My legs are apart, active, belly in, pubic bone down. I'm gonna slide up to a small swan. I brought the towel to slide in on the mat, and then reach it back out. So, pulling the towel helps me pull the shoulder blades down. I want the crown of the head reaching long, as I slide up into my swan. You guys, you can totally put your hands here and do your more basic swan. But I'm just, this is a little one. I have a little more energy as I pull up. Still trying to find that nice alignment. It will be smaller than when my hands are pressing my elbows all the way up. And I come up, and then I reach it out. Now, I'm gonna bend my elbows in by my side. That towel, as you see, is about eyeball height, forehead height, somewhere in there. I'm gonna go right into, I'm gonna scoot forward, kick you my towel. I'm gonna um, go right into our one leg kick. If you need this nicer, y'all, keep your forehead down and a pillow with your hands. I'm gonna, again, have the towel in my hands and elbows right under my shoulders. I'm gonna get, be in a little, like lift my belly. You can see there's a little sunshine under there. I'm gonna pull the towel apart so the shoulder blades are connected. Now, one leg kick is this move, but there's a lot happening. My pubic's pressing down. My belly's in. Now I'm gonna go kick, kick, reach. Alternating legs, kick, kick, reach. So hamstrings, reach. But don't lose the shoulders. Or the leg, pull. Kick, kick, reach. One more, kick, kick, reach. And then bring it down. Now, I'm gonna put the towel. My head is turned to one side. 
The towel is down with arms long, kind of at that gluteal fold, depending on your arm length. Might be a little higher. I have long arms. All right, so legs are active, long, and pressing into the mat. So this is double leg kick. So I'm gonna have my toes pointed and my hand, head down, arms just kind of holding the towel, okay? And then I'm gonna go three little kicks. And then as my feet go down, I'm gonna lift up, extending from the crown of the head. Turn your head to the other side, and we pull, 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 reach and extend. Go back to the first side. Pull, 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 extend. Back to the second side. Kick, 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 reach and extend. One more to each side. Kick, 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 reach. First, uh, second side, last time. Kick, 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 reach and to extend. Full body activation. And then rest it down. All right, towel out of the way. After all that extension, let's sit back into that shell. And I can put my hat back on. <laughs> pull your belly in, pull your tailbone down, push hands into the mat. Kind of like an extended cat stretch if you do a lot of yoga. Or sorry, uh, extended child's pose. Here, it's a shell stretch. Pulling and feeling that stretch in those shoulders that have done a lot of work and aren't done yet. All right. So from here, I'm gonna bridge. So I have some variations with the towel again. So reaching the towel out in front of me, I'm gonna roll, so I'm gonna roll it back down. And then I'm gonna bend my knees. My feet are a little bit away from my hips, in line, hips, knees, feet, all in line. I'm gonna start with the towel just against my thighs. Again, I'm gonna activate it. We just got some shoulder work here and some scapular work. So those arms are getting some work even without resistance bands. So from here, I'm going to peel up. I'm gonna use a, a long breath here. So I'm gonna exhale and peel up bone by bone by bone, articulating up. And then I'm gonna reach the towel overhead towards the floor. And then I'm gonna roll my spine down, reaching those knees long. And then towel back to the thighs. Big inhale, and then towel overhead and pulling apart and rolling my spine back down to the mat, hands to the thighs. Again, big exhale, long breath. Overhead, and then Melting down, bone by bone by bone. Last time, hands back to the thighs, articulating that spine up just to your shoulders, y'all. Make sure you never go past those shoulder blades. Reaching overhead without losing that bridge shape. And then melting down, softening bone by bone by bone. And then hands back to the thighs. I'm gonna straighten my legs out long. We'll see if I can do this now. We're gonna roll up, you can always rock yourself up. Take an inhale and then exhale. Peeling up, reaching over my toes and coming back up. All right, I'm gonna do spine twist with a little variation here. So again, I'm gonna bring the towel overhead. I'm gonna pull it apart. I'm gonna get nice and connected in those shoulders so they're down on my back, not in my shoulders, not your ears. All right, so make sure you find that set, and then sometimes I give myself a little weevil wobble to, to get onto those sit bones and get the tissue out of the way. All right, from here, I'm gonna bring my arms down, get it nice and connected. I'm going to twist to one side, lift the um, towel overhead, come to center, lower. Now I got some energy in the arms too. I'm gonna twist. Lift, center, lower. Rotate, lift, center, and down. One more time each side, this feels so good. Lift, center, and down. And there, 
there's my spine twist with a variation. All right, so I'm gonna go to some side legs. Don't need the towel, give the arms a little break. So I'm, I'm gonna lay on my side. You can pick a side, we're gonna do both. I'm gonna do, you watched my other video yesterday. I uh, am making some different moves here. So I'm gonna have my spine nice and long. My feet are slightly in front. And then I want to lift my ribs like you can see a little piece of sunshine if my towel isn't in the way. Right? Or I always say there's a hot coal lava tunnel attack not to get them. So I'm supporting my head so my spine's in line. You could come up to a more advanced position here if that worked for you today. Um, I'm trying to keep this basic for all at home so I'm going to stay down. Um, but you could come here for all of these moves as well. Maybe I'll stay here. See, talking to the camera. I like to talk to myself all day. So I'm gonna start with a little turnout. So I'm gonna rotate into a little Pilates stance here. Flexing my feet and I'm on the side of that bottom foot. My ribs are active, my shoulders are down. And then I'm gonna lift and lower that top leg. Trying to stay long through the waist. Again, you can do this down like I was to start with. Change my mind in mid plan. <laughs> Last time. Now here, I'm gonna rotate down. So now my toe and knee, I'm rotated from the hip. And then I'm gonna lift small here. Small, small. Ooh, that burns a little bit. It's supposed to. <laughs> and then I'm gonna kick that leg forward. And I'm still rotated down. And I'm gonna make little circles. My hip's about 90 degrees. I know my foot looks giant on the camera right now as it comes closer. <laughs> And then pause and reverse it. Still staying strong everywhere else. I'm just moving that top hip. Uh-huh. Last one. And then I'm going to bring the leg down. Now I'm going to slide all the way down. Reaching the arms overhead. Or this one can be a kickstand. Now I'm going to lift both legs together. And lower. Both legs together. Just trying to reach them a couple inches off the floor. Again, don't sink in that waist. Keep the abs in. Last time, now take that top leg, put it on the floor where you can grab the ankle. If that doesn't work for you, you can put the leg down here. But try this, gives you a little stretch at the same time. And now we're gonna lift the bottom leg. So my bottom leg is lifting. This is helping keep my pelvis stacked. So my ribs are strongly lifted from the abdominals. Last two, and one. And then I'm gonna sit up and give that a little hug. <laughs> There's lots of ways to stretch that. This is kind of that pretzel, like crossing the leg to the other side. All right. And then I'm gonna turn over. Traditionally, if I was doing a class, I would go face down and do something there. So again, you can lay down. My towel's in the way. You can lay down, supporting your head. Your hips are hinged slightly forward in front of you. So you can stay right here, still lifting the waist, um, rib cage here and keeping the waist long. So this is perfectly fine. I'm gonna try to match my other side since I did it. <laughs> so again, I don't wanna sink here. I'm gonna stay elbow under the shoulder, strong here, and I have to bounce on that elbow. So I'm gonna start with a little turnout like I did on the other side, and then I lift and lower that top leg. Staying strong in the waist and abs and that top hip is lifting and lowering with a little external rotation or laterally rotation. Last one here, and now I'm gonna rotate it down. So now my knee and toe point down, but the rotation is from the hip. I'm still strong and long here, hopefully, and then I lift and lower. And this one usually just kicks it in a little bit deeper and further back. Three, two, and one. Now, kick it forward. Again, it's close to 90. Only thing that wins my hip, but I brought it forward. Breathe. One more. Pause. Reverse it. Don't forget to reverse it. How strong are you in that core and those scapula? Whether you're laying down or on your elbows. Last one. And then bring it down. Lay all the way down. Okay. Top hand here. Lift it in that waist. Legs together. And then lift and lower them both. A lift and lower. Inner thighs. Keeping the legs together, top hip, outer thigh, lifting, breathing, one more time. And then bottom leg stays down. Bring that top leg forward. Again, if you can bring it in front, 
stand so that that pelvis stays stacked. Again, this is, a, this is another option. Again, just try not to roll forward, but keep your hips back. Maybe just your toes there or you're all the way here, okay? And then lift and lower that bottom leg. So inner thigh of that bottom leg. Still trying to stay strong in that waist and long, so I'm not letting the hip hike up. Last one. And then I'm gonna bring myself up to seated in that little cross stretch. And then I'm gonna pull the knee towards the opposite shoulder and give those hips a little stretch. Breathe. All right. Just a couple more things, promise. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do swimming. I'm gonna use a towel again. You don't have to, it's always optional, but again, giving you a little more energy. All right, so I'm gonna reach the towel out. I'm not sure if you can see me on camera. All right, I'm gonna be reaching long. I'm gonna come up into what I call Superman flying, right? And then you hit some turbulence, <laughs> and we're gonna flutter our legs. Opposite, alternating, I mean, breathing into the ribs, let out all the air. Inhale and exhale. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. I'm pulling those arms away. They're just holding as still as I can as I move from the limb. And then I bring it down. Nice. All right. Sit back into that shell one more time. Breathe. Give those shoulders a little rest. All right. I'm going to do teaser here. All right, we'll see how this goes. With the, with the bait, uh, towel in your hand, I'm gonna start table tap. It is nicer. You can also keep a foot down. I'll show you one of those as well, see if I can prep it. So I'm gonna reach overhead, I'm gonna inhale. As I exhale, I'm gonna curl up to a V-sit, but my other foot's gonna stay on the floor. So I'm gonna curl up and find that, and then roll it back down. You can stay there. You can go tabletop. All right. I take an inhale start. I'm going to exhale, come up. I can't do this and talk. And then I pull it apart. And then I roll it back down, arms overhead. You can start with your legs on the mat. I'm doing the version that my body likes best. Inhale. And then Exhale to my teaser, shoulders down, pulling the pole apart. Sometimes I have to bend my knees to find the balance. And then can I lift? Oop, not, oop, find it. <laughs> Squishy that. Lift and lower. Or pull, pull, pull. And then roll it back down. All right, I'm gonna try one more with a leg movement instead of an arm movement. Take an inhale. And then exhale up to your teaser. And then I'm gonna lower the thighs and lift the thighs. I'm pulling on my towel. Oh, I'm getting tired. And then roll all the way back down. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the towel. Wrap myself up to seated. Turn around. All right, we're gonna do um, three Pilates push-ups. I'm gonna just stay in a plank, not actually go all the way up. And an up stretch in between. Or like a pike. So hands under shoulders, find that plank position, everything long and strong, and then three push-ups. And then I'm going to shift hips over heels, walk them in so I get a stretch. Hinged over from the hip, breathing. And then I'm going to take my feet back to where I had them, shift back to shoulders over wrist, and I'm going to push up for three, Two, one, shift to my pike, walk it in, tell them I'm reaching away, feeling a nice stretch in the shoulders and the hips, then I'm gonna come back to that plank because I walked in for a deeper stretch and I put my feet back, shoulders down, three, exhale, two, one, pike it up, feet walk in a little, Tail pushes back, breathe, and then bring it down. All right. So yeah, we're gonna do a final roll down. You will lose, oops, I'm gonna go back here again. You might lose my towel on camera, but we're gonna hold the towel overhead, and then we're gonna round down, roll down, 
arms. So start by arms stay reaching, crown the head leads the way, be that waterfall cascading off the mountain or folding over barbed wire fence if that works for you. Big breath and then energy stack your spine all the way tall. Just like we did in the beginning, hands at chest height and retract those shoulder blades. Bring it overhead. Shoulders down, hands down, hands up. I hope that feels better than it did at the beginning. It might be fatigue. And then let's turn out a little bit, wide stance, and give me that side bend again and up, side bend again and up. We're gonna side bend and hold this side bend. Let go with your bottom hand and we'll rotate it towards the front of the room and back and then find your towel again and pull yourself up. Side bend to the second side, bottom hand lets go, sweep it forward and back while holding the side bend. Find your towel again, all the way tall, bring it down, let go of the towel, bring it behind your back, shoulders down, crown of the head long, and then find your neutral pelvis still right, and then pull that towel away and release. And pull it away and release. And that's it, y'all. Thanks for joining me for a towel mat workout. So again, hopefully something you have at home and you can do a home mat workout um, while we're all being safe with our um, social isolation, but I'll still try to entertain you.